What is going on guys and girls, my name is Rangel and today we've got for you part 8 of my YouTube's I Use Roads Glory. Before the video starts, be sure to check out the game keys, a link to their website will be in the description below for a cheap and reliable coin selling service, use the code VAN at the checkouts for a 5% discount. So, as you can see, in goal we've decided to go for McGregor, this is a series where I improve the players, each, each um, episode I usually do one or two. Uh, last time we got rid of Jalal who was in goal, he was a rare bronze, we decided to go to non-rare silver and we've of course gone for McGregor's teammate Curtis Davis, absolutely quality this year, he deserves much more of a higher rating than 71 in my opinion, he's been probably like a rock and probably the best defender for Hull at the minute in the Premier League. I hope his form continues as well because I'm quite a large fan of his. I think he's a great player. But as you can see, we're going to sort out these injuries now. We've got a couple of injuries. I think one is to Tirolat and the other one is to Invoto at centre-back. And uh, we're going to get into a game shortly. But today there has been the draw of the World Cup. All of the teams have been drawn now. We've got, I think, there's a few groups. Groups A through to H, I believe it is. And England have been drawn in the same group as Uruguay, Costa Rica and Italy. Now a lot of people and I've seen a couple of news reports saying this is the group of death and I have to say yeah England aren't the best team in the world yeah but I don't see why there isn't a reason that we could trouble the other teams in our group. Uruguay yes they've got absolutely world class players I mean you know Suarez, Cavani and there's there's many more to be fair but I mean oh, I don't really want to talk a lot about the gameplay in this episode by the way because I got absolutely battered by these players not this guy in particular but the other guy you're going to see it's just such a frustrating game this game I probably could have beaten but for some reason I just did not take my chances and I let in some really easy goals well that one wasn't an easy goal that was a moment of absolute class from Tevez there but as you can see, we go into halftime 2-0. I was talking about the groups, and Uruguay have got some quality players. So have Italy. Um, Costa Rica, I'm not 100% worried about because, you know, every group has got the team that should be the ones to go out of the cup. I mean, some years, I mean, it doesn't happen often, but some years you do get the ones that really do surprise. I remember when Greece won the Euros and nobody expected that. You know, these things do happen, but... In this day and age, there should really be Costa Rica should really be the team that everybody beats. But I think that England could actually trouble. I mean, look at that. This is my look, by the way. I hit the fucking post. Um, my, you're gonna see here. I should have fucking scored. I don't know how I've managed to miss all these chances. It's so frustrating. But I think that England should be able to beat Uruguay or Italy. I think. I don't know. I just don't think that. They should be causing us as much problems ever as everybody is saying. I mean, everybody keeps saying it's a death group. I've seen that news article, as I said earlier. I just don't see why people are making it such a big deal, personally. I think it could have gone a lot worse. We could have been in a group where we was guaranteed defeat, you know? We could have been in a group with Spain or Brazil. And I'm not... There's no disrespect to Italy or Uruguay, but... Spain and Brazil would be able to boss their groups and should be able to. They're like two of the best teams in the world. And... I don't think England are quite up there at that level yet, to be honest. I don't think we ever have been. It's just it's just one of those things. That's my opinion on it anyway, guys. Please let me know your opinion. Obviously, there's going to be a lot of England fans here. There's going to be some fans from Germany. I know that a lot of my followers are from different countries in the world. We've got one from Peru, I think, as well. Who are you going to be supporting, by the way? I mean, if your country didn't make it to the World Cup, who are you supporting in the place of? Who did you support and who are you going to support? I want to know because I know a lot of Irish... Um, Fans won't be supporting England just because that's the way they are and it might even be the same vice versa. I would personally want Ireland to do well but that's just the way it is sometimes. Um, I am actually personally going to be following and you're going to see an absolute butt fucking here. I think once you know the third goal goes in I just kind of go, ah fuck this, I can't be arsed. This guy was like a pro, I swear to god he was so good. I just couldn't do anything against him. I mean, you saw that we played against two full goal teams. This really wound me up. He called for half time, even though my fastest player, Kaneki, the right winger, he's got 93 pace. He was through on goal, and the referee decides to blow it. What am I going to do? I can't do anything. That's when you know fever is against you. This guy's had like 12 shots at half time. I can't do anything. I did try and get back into it, and I should have maybe scored one goal at least, but I absolutely spanned that chance, and every single chance I got, I absolutely wasted. I've only lost one goal, uh, one game in this entire series. And I've gone and won I've gone and lost two in the same episode. Now it's such a frustrating episode. Really, really did not like losing by this amount of goals as well, by the way. 3-0 for me is bad enough. I hate losing 3-0, but to go on and lose by even more, oh, so frustrating. Really, honestly, I can't I can't fathom how annoyed I was. At the time, I think I've got obviously the Xbox One. I really wanted to just throw my controller. I've never wanted to throw it before, but at this moment, 
th this is just the pinnacle of what fucking how shit my players are playing. I just hit the post from pretty much an open goal, really frustrating. And he's getting these type of goals where it's a rebound goal. You just can't do anything. When FIFA's being like this, it's like, well, what am I going to do? I, I do a little bit of good play here, but a through ball through, and it just sparks it straight at the goalkeeper. He doesn't even hit it with any power whatsoever. Anyway, <laughs> I'm done with ranting now. I was actually talking about the World Cup and who people are going to support. Like I said, I'm going to be supporting England. And uh, do you know what? No, I'm going to rant about this thing as well now. Look at this. Usually when the goalkeeper gets the ball in a free bit of space like that, he boots it up the pitch. Instead he decided to take a touch and go forward and let me control the goalkeeper like I wanted to do that. Come on, yay, get with it. Why would I want to do that? Anyway, I'm going to be supporting England and Holland. I'm going to talk about this now. I'm, going to get this... I'm losing my mind here, guys. I'm going to be supporting them because I am part Dutch. My great-granddad was Dutch. My other great-granddad was Polish. And obviously I am English, I am properly English, I've just got a small heritage of what I'm proud of, I'm proud to be partly Dutch, my surname is Van Gils, so I'm hoping for them to do well, if England get knocked out, God forbid, I will definitely be following Holland and wishing them the best. As you can see guys, after this entirely rant filled episode, we want a non-rare silver centre mid and a non-rare silver left winger, I might be changing the formation, let me know if you want me to change it, because in the minute I'm not enjoying this one. To be fair, I'm not enjoying the team in general just because we're playing against gold opposition. It's just so frustrating. Anyway, guys, 150 likes would be amazing. If you have enjoyed this video and you are new around here, remember to leave a like, comment, and as always, subscribe.